got another color review slash neutral color palette that I wanna go through with you today. The main color in question here is Natural Cream, which is by Benjamin Moore, color code OC14. This color is light and warm with a bit of contemporary gray elements added in as well. And if you're working within the warm neutral category of colors, this is the video you'll wanna watch. And that's because not only are you going to learn about this wonderful Benjamin Moore color, I also have three other wall colors that you can use to build an entire color palette with, in addition to two trim colors that will work marvelously as well. That's what we do here on the Paint People channel. Six videos a week for all my painting and decorating fanatics watching. You're my people. Let's get into this <laughs> color. So it's called Natural Cream. And although that sounds like you would get what it is based on the name, has a very straightforward description after all, what you do need to know is it's not going to be the same color as that naked into white liquid you put in your morning coffee. This color has warm, creamy elements, mainly beige, but it does have that decent dose of gray mixed in as well. So I would say it's part of the old family of grayish colors. That big color category, which is extremely popular for modern interiors specifically, because it combines the cozy elements of warm neutrals and beiges and creams, and it also has that understated, sophisticated look of gray. So yes, gray Beige is kind of everywhere still, but for good reason, because it does have that flexibility and it is pretty easy to use in modern day design. The color's darkness level is notated by what's called LRV or the light reflectance value. And as all my loyal subscribers watching know, you can find this information on the website of whatever paint color you're looking at. In this case, we can go to Benjamin Moore's website and right over here, we can see that it has a 64.78. And that means from zero to 100, it's reflecting close to 64% of the light that hits it. And this is important to know because the higher the number, the brighter the color will appear in your home. And just to give you some perspective from a decorating dude like myself, normally it's safe to work within the 60 LRV range for your wall colors, just as a general rule. And a lot of designers will agree that the 60 LRV range is kind of a sweet spot where it's not too light where you won't notice it at all. It's also not too dark where it's going to make the space feel kind of like a cave. Lighter colors reflect more light and light is good generally because you want to be able to see things. And also I feel like lighter colors tend to be a little more invigorating as well, which is why I like dark colors in my bedroom. So I don't want to be invigorated when I'm trying to sleep. Normally you can have grayish colors like this that have a little bit more brown or even red warmth present or orange. I find that the undertones of natural cream do lean a little more towards the yellow side of warm that can sometimes show a slight hint of green depending on your lighting. There also seems to be a bit of a cream of mushroom touch to this color, which I do enjoy. And also if you plan on using other mushroom or taupe colored fabrics or furniture, I could really see natural cream being a wonderful fit all over the house if you wanted to. But I know you're not just satisfied with one paint color. Let's get into some of these other color pairings that I selected, which you can use in other rooms or in the same space as part of a bigger color palette. Starting with Stone Hearth, which continues the warm neutral trend with a combination of gray and beige, only this time we have a little more brown in the mix to give it a bit of a stony gray coloration. Compared to natural cream, Stone Hearth almost looks a touch more red leaning with its warmth instead of yellow. It's also a true mid-tone hovering around 48 on the LRV scale, which means it will feel a little more substantial as a color compared to natural cream. It's gonna be a little more prominent. Typically, I enjoy lighter colors in the more open areas of your home, like your hallways. And then Stone Hearth can sort of slide in as a very similarly colored darker version in select areas, in select rooms. So think of it as your 1B color to natural creams 1A. Next up we have Cinder, which is a very different take on gray. This color is very much cooler leaning, almost a slate gray with a dash of blue and that hint of brown as well. It's a really fun alternative choice that is still within the neutral color zone, but just a bit more moody and quite a bit darker with a 24 LRV. Silver Lake is my third choice, which takes the blue aspect of Cinder and just heightens it and lightens it up to mid-tone levels. This color is in between the first two in terms of darkness, but because of that cloudy blue aspect it has, it does feel a little bit 
airy, which is really nice. And because it's clearly a cool neutral, meaning color temperature is colder, it will act as a very subtle accent in some cases, wherever you decide to use it. Think maybe your kitchen or bathrooms or even a living room. Now that we got all the wall colors taken care of, we gotta talk about trim colors next. And I got a light and a dark option for you for your baseboards, your doors, your frames, anything that isn't drywall really. White Diamond is my light choice, and it's actually the slightly darker shade of Chantilly Lace. If you look at them both, they have the exact same color code, except for those last two digits. White Diamond is sitting around an 83 LRV, and it's a soft, clean white that has a touch of coolness to it, which I like for this color palette. It'll coordinate perfectly with Cinder and Silver Lake because of that sort of blue aspect they all have, and they'll really pop against the warmth and stone hearth and natural cream. And then you have Silhouette, which is my dark trim choice, and this color does have a little bit of that warmth being a cross between charcoal and kind of a chocolate brown. It'll be a natural fit alongside natural cream. Overall, I just love their interaction. Here's the palette all together. Together. Let me know what you think of it. And I got another one for you because that's what I do. Please subscribe by hitting that beautiful red button if you want to keep up to date with our six videos a week. Whew.